Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science Past Paper Question. This time we're looking at Paper 1, Principles of Computer Science. This is a series, downloaded down questions 1, 2 and 3. Please check the link above for those. And today we're going to look at question 4. So here then is question 4. One function of an operating system is file management. A. Both kibibyte and kilobyte can be used as measures of file size. Compare kibibyte and kilobyte. Now, kilobyte is 1000 bytes and kibibyte is exactly 1024. So kibibyte is a computer science measurement, whereas kilobyte is a science measurement system of units. So my answer then, kibibyte is a computer science measurement and is 1024 bytes, whereas a kilobyte is a scientific measurement and is 1000 bytes. So again, with this question, make sure you really understand the difference between kibibyte and kilobyte and I have videos about units of measurements that you can have a look at. I will link above to those videos. Question B. An image is 2322 pixels high and 4128 pixels wide. The image is stored with a 16-bit color depth metadata for the image is 975 bytes if you're not clear what metadata is it's extra extra file size added on to the image which contains its information its resolution number of colors etc construct an expression to show how file size in megabytes is calculated you do not need to do the calculation so I've seen students answer this question and they try to do the calculation. You might be really, really good at maths. And if you're taking computer science, you probably are. But you do not need to do the calculation. And it's not worth spending half an hour to do the calculation to the detriment of other questions. When it specifically says you do not need to do the calculation. You also don't have a calculator in your exam. This question is for marks. So I need to construct an expression that would work out exactly the file size in megabytes. So because I'm typing this, I'm going to type as I speak. So I need to work out 2322 needs to be multiplied by 4128. That is the size of the image, 3, 2,322 multiplied by 4,128. We scroll back up. That's the height and the width. Now, it is stored with a 16-bit color depth, so I need to then multiply that by 16 also. Okay, so that's the first part. So I'll just place that in the middle there. Then I need to add on the metadata, which was 975 bytes. Okay, so I'm adding that on there as well. And I need to divide that whole lot by eight because that, excluding obviously the 975, that is in bits. So I divide all of that by eight and then I get one mark. That gives me one mark. That's the first part of the question. Next part of the question. What I need to do now is I'm now, when I do that calculation, I would have the number of bytes, but I need to, I need to work out, it's asked me to work the megabytes okay so bytes 
The next unit of measurement is kibibytes or kilobytes because we're dealing with um, thousands, not a thousand twenty-four, so it's kilobytes and then megabytes. So I need to do another division. So I need to divide that by one thousand multiplied by one thousand. And that would get me to mega, not maybe mega bytes. If it was maybe bytes, it would need to be a thousand twenty-four times a thousand and twenty-four. So that is the full expression for four marks. I've got the top calculation there, which works out the width times the height times color depth. Add on that metadata. Now that can be added on there, or it can be added on to the side of that. But I'm going to just add that on there because it comes out the same. Divide all that by eight. That gives me bytes, but I want it in megabytes, not bytes. So I need to divide it then by a thousand times a thousand. Now, the answer works out to be 19.17 when you calculate this. But like I say, you do not need to do this calculation and you haven't got a calculator in your exam. So you're just constructing an expression. Those are the four parts to the expression, and that is the four marks there. Question C. Operating systems often include compression software for reducing file sizes. Give two reasons for reducing file sizes. We reduce file sizes because we want to save disk space. It's as simple as that. In the old days, when hard drives were really, really small, this had to be done all the time. But now, if you think about, you want to send an email, sometimes you have a limit of 10, 20 megabytes, and you can't send any more than that. So you need to comp compress a file to be able to send it. So the reasons are to reduce the file size to save storage space. Number two, to meet the file limits of emails when sending attachments. Now, there are some drawbacks to this, and I need to list them for part two. Two drawbacks of using compression software. Drawback is a negative. So the drawbacks are that if, if the compression has been lossy, I'm going to lose some of that detail, some of that data. And also, that will affect the quality of the file. And it can take some considerable time to compress a large file size. So my first point there is lossy compressions mean data is lost from the file. So I haven't gone into specifics there about what that could be, but with a lossy compression, you're losing some data on compression. And the second point there is compression can take time. Question D. This is a similar question to the earlier question we need to do construct an expression a text file is stored on a hard disk the file holds information from one side of a sheet of paper a sheet of paper is represented as a grid that is 80 columns wide and 66 rows long each cell in the grid contains a single two byte unicode character the file also contains 40 characters of metadata Remember what we talked about earlier, what metadata is, is extra data added, added to the file about, about the file. The hard disk allocates space in blocks of 1024 bytes. Construct an expression to show the number of blocks required to store the file. You do not need to do the calculations. I've already been through, do not do the calculation. Okay, you don't have a calculator, you don't have the time. Do not do the calculation. So let's go and construct the expression. All right, as a talk, so I need to multiply 80. Remember the width, the columns, and the height of it. 80 multiplied by 66 there. Remember it's two bytes. So here I need to multiply that by two, and that's one mark okay now 
Next, remember I need to add my metadata here. So I need to add the 40 from my metadata. So that's added my metadata. That is now two marks. Then what I need to do is I need to work it, it stores it in blocks of 1024. So I need to divide all that by 1024, which will give me, so I'm using slash, so I'm just going to put a new line there, slash or divide. I don't have the divide symbol here, but it's a divide symbol. Divide all that by 1024. And that's three marks. And I need to round up for four marks, which gives me the number of blocks needed to store that file. So with that calculation, I'd be able to work out the number of blocks needed to store that file. And remember, it's broken down into one mark each for each section. So if you get some of it wrong, you're still going to get marks if you get partly right. One mark for this, one mark for that, etc. It's worth noting that it's uh, we're talking about 1,024 there, so not to round that down to 1,000. And always, always try that. So, although you're going to get follow through error, if it if the calculations you do before that are attempted, you may get some marks. So always, always, always have a go at this. Always try different parts of this calculation. So that concludes question four, and that gives us fourteen marks for paper one towards paper one. And I would like you to thank you very much for watching today. I hope that has been helpful. I've linked to the files in the description and linked along the way to different videos that may help you with this. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.